escape the Maiden's Feast. And where the hell am I now? You are strangling that poor bird. Uh oh. You're gonna rip her. Oh, never mind. Hell yeah. Oh god, that knife's falling ahead um, un above her. That's that could be really unpleasant. A golden egg. Damn. Ah. Okay, okay, I get it. I get it. Okay. Let's keep her going. Dad, look, Jesse brought back a girl with her. Ooh, a new recruit. Time for your old man to become Mr. Smooth. Oh. Hey, thanks for saving my life back there. Sorry I said you were part vulture. That's fine. I think I need to use a ladder to get up there. What about you? Hi there. Hi, Birdie. Let's go talk to this person. Hi, my name is Bella. What's yours? I am Walt Er. Walter? Walt Er. With an apostrophe. We admire lightness in all things. No extra baggage, no extra letters. I'm Chick. Who are you guys? We're the preeners, of course. We take care of the nests and keep stuff floating. Super important. Can you guys help me? I need to get back to sugar bunting right away. You're from sugar bunting? So that's why you smell like frosting. What's the big rush? Stay here and float away. I just escaped the Maiden's Feast, and now Mog Chakra is going to eat the town. You what? Why would you ever run away from such an honor? Such a joyous occasion. Hopefully, the upcoming ceremonies in Shell Mound go more smoothly. We just had our Maiden's Feast yesterday. It was awesome! Brother Lightbeard was very pleased. Good luck topping that one, <laughs> Smell Mound. Haha, <laughs> child sacrifice. Uh, human sacrifice to appease an Eldritch deity. What fun! Well, I just thought maybe we could fight Mob Chakra instead of feeding it. Oh, that sounds horrible. Why would anyone want to hurt such a noble, endangered creature? Poor Mob Chakra. Because it keeps eating people! <laughs> Doesn't matter how endangered it is, if it's a danger to humans, you put it down. Did you say that the next Maiden's Feast was in Shell Mound? Yes, it's so sad. I mean, they're always trying to compete with us, but... Oh, please. Shell Mound girls smell like old seaweed. Okay. How do I get to Shell Mound? Um, follow the stink? <laughs> okay, bigot. <laughs> to get to Mog Chathra, quick. Good idea. If you sacrifice yourself to Mog Chathra, that might set things right. He's very picky, though. And you'd have to compete with the other maidens of Shell Mound. Hmm. Let's go back to talking about Marilof. I knew this magical place would win you over eventually. Not really. Who's Jesse? That big blue oligol you rode in on. Oh, really? I guess I owe her a thank you. 
Actually, take my advice. Stay away. Why shouldn't I talk to Jessie? Well, one of her eggs went missing when she was out. She's totally freaking out. Yes, I don't think the golden egg substitute we put in her nest is fooling her. So we gotta go find her egg. Poor Jessie. Where did her egg go? It's against the cleaner code to point fingers. But Gus was on cleaning duty. And it wouldn't be the first time that hope fell through. Shh, son. Remember what Brother Lightbeard said. Zoo speaks. Cause leaks. Any idea where I can find Jesse's egg? If Gus really did take it, well, he is a little dense. Mentally and physically. <laughs> he probably fell through the clouds and went splat in the forest. Charming. Can you tell me about Brother Lightbeard? Happy to. Harmony Lightbeard is a brilliant philosopher, spiritualist, and buoyancy instructor. We have followed Brother Lightbeard up to the clouds to learn about his philosophy of lightness. Dad gave him all our money. Ah, it's quiet, chit. Oh, yeah. It's a surprise for Mom's birthday. So it's a cult. Got it. Don't the birds tend the nests? Well, these birds are not exactly model homemakers. Left to their own devices, they'll lay too many eggs, or get too fat, and then, poof, they'll sink right through the clouds. Don't float, stay afloat. How are we floating on these clouds anyway? Volume! No, son. Try again. Gee, um, okay. Uh, circumference? Area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all about surface area. Pounds per square inch. Well, I'll see you two later. Farewell. Stick to the paths. Stay on the twigs or you'll eat a pig. No freestyling, Chip. Sorry, Pop. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of the, it's, it's a similar, uh, like, it's a similar philosophy to, like, how you're supposed to do, um, what was it? Snowshoeing, so. Alright, let's go check it out. Let's talk to the cloud shoes person. Careful. Ah. Bye! Well, can't get a cloud I shoe anymore. I told you to be careful. It's okay. It's just my whole livelihood is gone, is all. I'm sunk. Sorry. About what? About your knife. Oh, right. My knife. <laughs> That's awkward. So, what's your name? Carl. Carl? No, Carl. It's Carol, with some of the letters removed for reasons that are too stupid to repeat. Hey, can I ask you about those weird guys down there? My husband and son? Uh, what did they do this time? Uh, they're talking about joining a- they talked about joining a cult. I think they're gonna hurt somebody with those sticks. Oh, my husband would never do that. Harmony has rules against fighting here. Harmony? Harmony. Harmony Lightbeard, the supposed guru my husband followed up here. I think he's a nut, but I let my husband have his hobbies. I mean, he sounds like a cult leader, so... Your husband is following a guru? He moved the whole family up here so we could study Harmony Lightbeard's philosophy of lightness. It's a midlife crisis thing. I'm just playing along. Oh... Uh. I don't think those guys down there are working as hard as you are. Oh, I think they are, since I lost my knife. Uh, it's only been a few minutes. Is that all of them? Well, there's McGee, my teenager. Off their head in the clouds somewhere. You know what I mean. You must be very proud. Honey, I'm just trying to survive this phase. Honestly. I wish he had just had an affair like most middle-aged men instead of dragging us all up here. Jesus Christ. Okay, enough about your family. Oh, sorry. Was I going on about them again? No, I asked, so that's my problem. You can't make hats without a knife? Hats? I make life-saving cloud shoes here. Or I did, until you came along. I already apologized for that. You make shoes out of clouds? Uh, no. Shoes that keep you from sinking into clouds. They spread out your weight. Buoyancy is all about it. Wait, I know this. 
area? Pounds per square inch. Skinny little feet like yours shoot through clouds like chopsticks through whipped cream. Do you really eat whipped cream with chopsticks? Only when I'm feeling sad. <laughs> that's a that's a mood right there. Why don't you use your teeth? Shoes made of teeth? That's creepy. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. Ah, oh, my work. Guess I gotta go find her. Her, gotta, gotta go find her damn knife for her. Ooh, downy. Careful. Still got some bird mites on them. Ew. All right. Well, guess I gotta go find her knife for her. After. What does it say over here? Hmm. Maybe this sign is only for birds. Well, let's go check it out. Oh no. We Okay. Hi, I'm Mag McGee. Uh let's see. Hey, what's up? Uh, nothing. What did you say your name was? McGee. It's Maggie, but without the A. My dad's idea. Don't you mind that your dad took the A out of your name? Well, yeah, but my dad said, hey, losing an A is better than losing an I. <laughs> yeah, let's see. Your dad's pretty creepy. He wasn't before he joined this cult. Oh, whoops, did I say that too loud? I mean, it is a cult, so... Your dad's in a cult? Uh, he's just taking this light bird worship a little too far. But it's okay. At least it got him out of his line dancing phase. I don't know, line dancing seems like a better ob obsession than whatever this is. What are you doing exactly? I'm taking care of these eggs. If it weren't for me, they'd, uh, get dusty or something. How do you get to the eggs in the high nest? Oh, because I'm so short, you mean? No, I... Uh... I'm just messing with you. I have a ladder. Can I have the ladder? Hey, can I borrow your ladder? Mm, okay. Huh, that's awfully small. Hey, short things can surprise you, okay? Oh, I'm sorry about that. Hey, is there any way off this cloud? Think I'd be here if there were? We used to have a cool feather vader that went straight down to the forest below. But Harmony took it out. Why'd they take out the feather vader? Harmony decided that nobody had any reason to leave. That's a uh, very, very, yep, that's concerning. Yep, definitely a cult. Isolate you from the rest of the world. Maybe I should just jump. Tried it. No good. Whoops, the birdie guards catch you and bring you back. What you need is a ladder. But it would have to be much taller than mine. Aw, oh, poor McGee. Lightbeard's really serious about this lightness thing, isn't he? Oh, yeah. People say he only eats feathers. Ick. But it's not true. Good. He only. Okay, that's gross. That's disgusting. Hey, what kind of bird lays those golden eggs? Oh, those? Those are egg substitutes. We make them for the older, senile gulls who forget they don't have eggs. Why are they made of gold? It's the heaviest stuff we have. We want them to be heavy, so the gulls can't carry them off and lose them. Hey, nice cloud shoes. Ugh, my mom made them for me. All the other kids have cool name brand cloud shoes, but I get homemade. Oh, but don't tell her I said that. The shoe thing is all she's got. It's almost well, like I'll it. Leave you alone. <sighs> okay. Poor kid. Uh, let's see. Is there anything? There's a knife up there. Hey, that's my knife. Good thing it didn't land on anybody. Tall enough? It is! Huzzah! I'll take your knife. My mom's special ceremonial knife. And I'm sure, um... Carl... 
I'm gonna be nice and actually call her by her actual name, Carol. Cause I know. Oh no 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 no! Stay on, stay on the path, stay on the path. That's a finicky path. So I need the cloud shoes to get over there. Those don't look like Jesse's. Better leave them alone. You birds want to help me kill Mom Chafra? That is one heavy looking egg. So I can't get over there until I get cloud shoes. And then I need to. Hi. And then I'm over here. So that leads out to that one. So actually, no. Let's get. Let's actually talk with her real quick. See if she'll take my knife. Hey, can you make me a pair of cloud shoes? Mark can't make anything without my knife. Well, I'll let you get back to your work. No, oh, my work. Well, here's a knife. Say, that's some knife. Good balance, nice heft. Ooh, and a blood gutter. No, that's for the filling. The less I know about the knife's history, the better. <laughs> Here. Hell yeah. Uh, I know, they're big, but you'll grow into them. Trust me, you hit 40 and you're going to be grateful for a pair of comfortable shoes like that. So I need to find some way to, I need to find something to uh, stuff those shoes then. Next, so let's go over here. Actually, no, let's go. Well, let's go over here and see what this says. Looks like I should go that direction for more clouds. Let's go check it out real quick. Okay, what do we got here? Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Hi, are you? You may call me Fathur. Oh. Yes, excuse me, father. No, fur, Like a light, beautiful feather. But lighter. Harmony gave me that name. It's quite an honor. What are you guarding here? I make sure that Brother Lightbeard's time is not wasted. He's a busy man, you know. So, you're Mr. Lightbeard's heavy? Hey, there's no call for personal insults. Can I go up and see Mr. Lightbeard? All are welcome on Brother Lightbeard's cloud after they make an offering. Ah, uh, so they gotta like go stuff. I'm guessing like three golden eggs. What kind of offering? It's not the object that matters, but the thought behind it. Huh, weird. No, it's just gold. Do you know where Gus went? He's got an egg I need. That one is struggling with the concept of lightness. He is yet to give up even a single letter in his name. He's worried people will think his name is Gas. Well, yeah, because it's like, Gus. Like, Gus. I don't suppose there's a big ladder like this that goes down. Huh. Last time I checked, most ladders go both directions. Okay, Mr. Snark. Rude. Can I just go up the ladder without making an offering? Brother Lightbeard gives you this opportunity to lighten your load for your benefit, not his. Uh-huh. I'll let you get back to work. Go in lightness, my friend. Ah, uh, okay. These things are so big, they won't even stay on my feet. Yep, so I guess I'm gonna have to figure it out. So nothing over there for right now. So now let's head to this one. Let's head down this ladder, see what's down here. Who are you? Man, I hope that's not a real bird. I don't like the way that one's looking at me. It is kind of creepy, yeah. How's it hanging? <laughs> Good one. Who are you? So, uh, how's the view up there? I don't know. All I can see is my mother's disappointed face. Oh, uh, oh, right. So, Mog Chother came through the day before. I really like your outfit. Yeah, I liked it too. Not good enough, though, apparently. And on top of that, the shoes were too tight. Did you say something about shoes? Yeah, why? You need some? Take these. I don't need any. Awesome. I'm gonna sit here forever. 
What are you doing down here? I'm an offering for the Maiden's Feast. You can't tell? Jeez, it's worse than I thought. I was in a Maiden's Feast too. Just today, in fact. Oh, really? You didn't get picked either? Well, no, I got picked, but I put up a fight and got away. You... What? I just figured, why not fight the monster, you know? Yeah, right. He didn't get picked. That's okay. Pull up a swing and sulk with me, sister. I mean, I'm fine with not getting... Kind of shabby looking for a maiden's feast. Hey, I can't help the way I look. No, no. No, I mean the broken bird cages and feathers. Oh, yeah. Well, that's because the feast is over. Need help? Uh, cleaning up? Why bother? Well, it's just kind of a mess down here. So am I. That's why I like it. Aw, uh, poor girl. If the feast is over, what are you doing here? Sulking. Rub it in, why don't you? I'm still here because I didn't get picked, okay? Look on the bright side. You didn't get eaten by a monster. I'd rather do that than face my family right now. Oh, that... Who am I kidding? They've probably already jumped off a cloud in shame by now. Well, that's dark. Look, I think it's time we start fighting that monster. You're just going through that anger phase after not getting picked. That was me yesterday. Well, I'll leave you alone. Just like Mark Chathra did. I'm used to it. That's unfortunate. So. Just my size. There we go. Yay! I can now walk where I want, motherfucker. All right. So that's good for that then. Let's go talk to them again and see if they have anything new to say. Well, I'll see you too. What? What? Any idea where I can find Jesse's egg? Let's see where. Gus really did take. Well, I'll see. So I need to go somewhere where it's more dense. Then I guess. Hi. So what's new out here? Are you making fun of me? Oh, sorry. Well, I'll leave. Oh, let's keep going this way. Let's go grab you. Uh oh. Hey, knock it off. Those hooks are an important safety feature. Sheesh. That was rude. Uh oh. It sinks without the hooks. No Jerk shit. Bird. This is all your fault. Alright, so how do I deal with the jerk bird? Nah, I don't want to lose them. Even They're too big, yeah. So what else can I do? Is there anything over here I can talk with? Good birdie. Nothing over there. As far as I can tell. So nothing Hi. over there. Do I have hey, do I take this personally, bird? So I can't go up that way. Oh, maybe go over here? Bye! Okay, so that just does that. Maybe if I can get up there? Because that looks like something more to do up there. As long as I don't bother the bird, I should be fine, right? Sorry, just passing through. Looks like there's some sort of small tree at the end of this path. Well, let's go check out the small tree then. See what happens. Man. That sign really did not do this thing justice. Why is there a tree in the clouds? Or, oh no, it's just a tree that's so tall that it goes through the clouds. Got it. That makes way more sense. Can't reach that spot. Maybe I could find a low-hanging branch. Got Give me a sec. Give me some fruit. Dang. Give me some fruit. Dang. Well, let's... Wee! What's in here? Oh, that's how you get back through. Got it. Nope. 
We're gonna go back through here. And let's go explore. Because I think I saw I heard Gus. Hey, listen, I can explain. I was taking Jesse's egg for a cleaning and hey, wait, wait, who are you? You're in big trouble, young man. Oh, man, don't tell Harmony, okay? He already has it in for me. Why don't you just let go? I'm 85% sure someone would catch you. I'm stuck! I'm caught on this trench and I can't reach back that far! What are you really doing down here? I was just chasing some fruit that fell off that tree and I hit a weak spot in the clouds. Why would Jesse's egg need cleaning anyway? Well, it, it didn't, but I needed the work credits to make up for some hygiene demerits I got last week. Mind if I just squeeze past you? Yeah, that's a good idea. Come over here so I can grab on. No way. Oh, well, come. You hang in there, kid. My underwear, it's on the branch. Can you unhook it, please? Unhook my underwear? Sorry, I'm not going anywhere near your underwear. Come here and h help me. Poor guy. We'll figure it out, won't we? Get to know someone in a precarious position. I don't have the ladder. Hey. I can't go past. Now let me just climb under your shoulders. Quit it. <laughs> and I thought I was clumsy. All right, let's try that again. Let's go down a different. Let's go down a different pathway. So let's grab one of these. Hmm. Firm and pungent. So maybe if I give it to him. How about some fruit? Oh, yes, thank you! I haven't eaten in so many hours! Sorry, I might need it. Did you just come down here to torture me? Yeah, sure. Let's go. We'll go with that. So, can I go down this branch? I cannot. So, I guess it's back up to here. I need to find... Where would I... Let's see if I... Let's... I need to find someone to give the fruit to. So let's go see if we can find someone to give the fruit to. Oops, let's avoid that. Um, you're still not useful right now. I'll take the ladder, yep. Ladder's back in my possession. Anybody want some delicious fruit? No thanks. Gotta stay light. So, not that. I'm guessing Carl doesn't want one. Uh, let's give it to her. See if she wants it. Maybe she'll give you something else. Want some fruit? Nah, not hungry. Also, I don't like fruit with pits. You want these? Maybe a nice pair of comfortable shoes would help? Don't need them. Nowhere to go. Okay. Whatever. Um... See. Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. A light offering. Harmony will be pleased. There we go. Now I can just climb up and go meet Harmony. How's the game? Oh, it's fun. It's a point and click adventure. Welcome, Kalito. Oh, God. Why are there spins in that ladder? No. Hey, cult leader. Oh my, a fresh face rises from below. Before you ask, let me answer. Yes, you may live here in Maryloft forever. Who are you? I am Harmony Lightbeard, the lifter of clouds. Can you help me kill Mog Chakra? Ah, what a thing to say. Did you just lay that? No, it fell out of my pile of... I mean, it must have been... Pay no attention to that. Oh my god. Actually, I just want to get off this cloud. Oh, I understand. 
You're quite mentally ill, aren't you? Have Jesus Christ. The right place. Fucking cultist. I really, really want to get off this cloud. Do you have any idea what would happen if people could just leave Maryloft whenever they felt like it? Yeah, it wouldn't be a cult. Maryloft would become lighter? Hmm, hadn't thought of that. But no. Everyone would leave? What? No! I could go kill Magchathra? What an offensive idea. No! People would become unenlightened. So because I care so much, we have the Whoop Suburdy Network to make escape. I mean, <clears throat> unenlightenment impossible. Okay, sure. Hey, are you done with that golden egg? That's mine. I might need it someday. Uh, I mean, take it away. I need it like a blue jay needs a bowling ball. Oops! Heads up for there! Oh. Why do you have laces and a big bow in your cloud? Oh, why, well, you see, I exude such a powerful aura of lightness, it's made these clouds hyperbuoyant. If I didn't lash them together, they'd fly away into the heavens. Why are you up here so high? I'm exactly as high up from Mariloft as Mariloft is from the forest below. To show that we're all equals. I don't get it. It'll start to make sense after a few weeks of meditation, my child. Oh my god, that's so that's so fun. That's kind of funny. Any idea where Jesse's egg went? Uh, losing objects is a natural step in the path to enlightenment. It's part of who we are in Maryloft. It's in our roots. Do not fear it. Thanks for the help. See you later. Be light, child. Alright, and so that's all I can do with uh, that dude. I'll take my fruit offering back. He's breathing. Better let him sleep. I'm taking my fruit back. And my egg. Oh man, this thing is heavy. Good thing I have these cloud shoes on. Oh, I think I see what I might need to do. This thing is heavy. Good thing I have these cloud shoes on. Can I take the egg on? No. No, that's not what I need either. I can't eat it. It's made of gold. That's there. Don't need that from that. Um, let's just fall through here and see what happens. Okay, it's the whoops a drop system. Okay, so that's just the same as always. Hi. Hey, McGee, you want something? How about some fruit from that big tree? Nah, I'm so sick of that stuff. Hey, welcome back. Maybe giving maybe I can give the fruit to you? Hey, anyone up there want some delicious fruit? At least I think it's delicious. Could be poisonous. Anyway, free fruit. Hey, anyone up there wants some delicious fruit? At least I think. Okay, so that doesn't work out like I wanted it to. <sighs> okay, what do we got? What else do I gotta do? What else can I do? Hi. Not much else, I don't think. Uh, let's see if Carol wants some. Want some fruit from that big tree over there? No thanks. Chipped a tooth on a pit last time. I bit into one of those. Maybe I can give one. Okay. Maybe I can give one of these fruits to the burb. I don't think fruit would help there. Well, I don't know what could help here, so let's figure it out, huh? I can't get them to stay on my feet. Can I remove the current ones I have? I can't get them to stay on my feet. I think I need to use a ladder to get up there. Oh my god, just let me fucking use a ladder without needing to worry about this other stuff. Alright, let's see what we got. Because the idea I think I need is I need to get those three eggs to, um... I need to get those three eggs to... Okay, that's the whoopsie bird, so I gotta go to this one. 
Maybe if I a good pair of cloud shoes would keep you out of this kind of situation. I'll remember that next time. If you help me down from here. Oh, I think I need to fall specifically in an area where that on uh, I need I need to specifically fall on like maybe this one. This day cannot get any worse. <gasps> what what the Bye! Ah! Alright, that worked. Bye guys! I'm gonna go get that egg now. So that should do for that. Alright, so I just needed to fall a specific way, and poor Gus, he just fell to his death. I'm sorry, man. I just really, really needed those egg these eggs. There you go. There you go. Ah, good girl. Now let me explain. I didn't take. Ah, she give me a hug. Hey, you're welcome. Wasn't anything really. Ah, oh, it's a good. Who's a good bird? Awesome. So I have two golden eggs. I don't think I need to go anywhere else with that. Let's go over here real quick and see what we can do over here. Hey, Father! Please place your offering into the bowls of enlightening. Hey, Father. Father. I'll let you get that. Whoa, careful there. That thing's heavy. Haven't you heard Harmony's teachings about lightness yet? Why are you? Thanks for the help. I want my money back. You may take back any burden you wish. Oh. It hurts you more than anybody. I'm trying to break that particular part, so I have a ladder, a thing of peaches. I wonder, is the peach enough? That'd be really funny if the peach was enough. A light offering. Harmony will be pleased. Why are you? Thanks for the help. Okay, so there's nothing else for that. Um, I just need to get one more golden egg. I don't know how to get that golden egg, though. I really don't know how to get that last golden egg. I don't think fruit would help there. Um, ladder. <laughs> you want a ladder? Need help getting down? I've got a ladder. No, I'm never coming down. Well, that sucks to suck. Okay, where? How do I get that last egg? How do I get that last egg? Maybe if I give McGee like a new pair of shoes. Whoa! What did my mom make those shoes for? An elephant? I don't know. I'm just trying to. Welcome back. I don't know, man. I'm just. I don't know, McGee. I'm just trying to figure out how to get this last egg. There's a stupid bird that doesn't want me to have it. I'm in a. Ugh. Better not touch those. I don't want to make these giant birds angry at me. <sighs> okay, let's think about it for a second. Let's think about it for a second. Let's see if this should... let's See, cool. Oh, I see. That's in. Okay, I get it. I don't need a fruit center. That makes sense. Oh my god. How did I not think about that? How did I not think of that? Okay, well, screw you, bird. Big deal, bird. Like, I even need hooks now. Haha! -ha. Solid as a rock. Peekaboo. That's right. It's me, your worst nightmare. I'm pretty sure that. Come back here and get your come up and. On second thought, don't come back until you get some pants. That bird just was plucked from the bottom. Also, I'm pretty sure you shouldn't be intimidating a bird that's big enough to, like, you know, crush your head with its beak. It's me, your worst nightmare, she says. 
Come on, let's go. Hi. Uh, let's go. Come on. Let's go. Ah, fuck. Okay, that was dumb of me, but whatever. I now have what I need to cr fuck up, brother. Place your uh, into the bowls of Harmony the Lightbeard. Uh, hang on. Before you get on that ladder. I need to think about this cloud's weight. Too bad. Bombs away. Hang on. Don't move. Bye. Bombs? Uh, Wee! Sorry. I'm free.